here and I am so excited to finally put away all of my winter gear, my toques and my big bulky sweaters and jackets and bring out the florals and the flowers and the flowy dresses. So this video is a spring travel packing guide where I'm gonna show you what I pack for about a week of travel in the spring. Now, you realistically though, you can do two weeks, three weeks, four weeks, how many weeks you like, because it's the same amount of stuff, you're just gonna do laundry. Now the thing about spring travel is you want it to be like summer, you want it to be hot, and it is generally during the day. However though, you get a variety of weather, you get rain and you get those cooler evenings and mornings, so you need to pack kind of a variety of stuff. Spring is long dress, jumper season, so three of those in my bag. We have a few fun, colorful t-shirts because it's not too hot yet, so t-shirts are perfect for that and they're just really comfortable. Pants, you're definitely gonna need a couple pairs of pants because uh, they're just gonna keep you warm when it's raining in the evening. Uh, you can do heavier weights, so I've got a pair of cords and I have a pair of jeans here, whatever you kind of prefer, but definitely at least two pairs of pants. Leggings for comfy days, plane rides, train rides, bus rides. Two pairs of shorts or skirts or one of each, whatever you prefer. I have one of each, so one skirt, one pair of shorts. Sweaters and hoodies. Now, if you're like me and you're cold all the time, I like to be more conservative and pack a bit more of these. One lightweight sweater, I have a hoodie, and then I have like a nice long sleeve. Uh, shirt that I wear. So if it's raining or in the evening, you're gonna wanna put some sort of jumper or sweater on. One scarf. Now scarves are the traveler's go-to because they are so versatile. You can use them in so many different situations. Um, they're fashionable. They can help keep you warm, cover you up. Underwear. Okay, so bras. So we got four different bras here. We have one sports bra. We have two kind of casual, comfortable everyday bras, and then one more padded, fitted, uh, shaped bra. Underwear. So I pack about seven pairs of underwear because that'll last me a week. And after about a week, you're probably gonna be doing laundry anyway. And underwear is just so easy to wash in the sink in your hotel or whatever other accommodation that you are staying in. So seven pairs is plenty. Socks, so I'm packing about three pairs. You can pack more if you know that you're gonna be wearing um, more close toed shoes for the majority of your trip. But uh, three pairs is pretty good. Again, you can wash socks pretty easily in your sink. And one bathing suit. Now this is kind of optional and it depends if you're actually gonna be swimming or somewhere that you're gonna be in the water. But if you do bring a bathing suit, make sure that you pack a waterproof bag that you can put it in if you have to pack away all of your stuff before your bathing suit is 100% dry. And then we'll get all the rest of your suitcase wet. Shoe selection is very important because they're gonna take up the most amount of space in your luggage. So try and pick shoes that are transitional and versatile so you can use them for multiple activities. Also pick comfortable shoes because you're gonna be doing a lot of walking. I keep it down to three shoes which will cover everything that I need to do. One pair of sneakers, which are your everyday walking shoes. So for those long activity filled days where there's gonna be hills or there's gonna be long days on your feet and you want them to be supported. So this is the Born Sunburst. It is a knitted sneaker, so it has an eye-catching style and a unique wingtip design. It also has a removable cushioned insole, which provides additional padding and arch support. This is extremely comfortable and breathable for those long days on your feet. Next, you want a sandal for those sunnier, warmer days that you also want to be comfortable in. This is the Born Breck Flat. It has a beautiful combination of natural materials and stretch woven straps. Its flexible construction allows your feet to be comfortable and it promotes natural movement. So you can go explore all you want and your feet will be protected and nice and breezy. Last, a wedge for dressing up evening wear or those more fashionable days out and about. This is the Born Breaker. It is a wedge sandal crafted for movement. It has an ultra lightweight and airy design, great for walking, it's flattering, and it adds a fun lift. Now how you pack shoes so they don't get the rest of your clothes dirty is by little cloth bags. So these are bags that I got from previous clothes purchases or bag purchases that I've kept. You can also use grocery bags, those reusable grocery bags, those work as well. And you just place your shoes in one of those. And then you're gonna wanna place your shoes at the bottom of your suitcase to keep the weight as close to the wheels as possible. 
And then I'm gonna keep this pair out because I'm gonna wear these on the plane. And now I'm gonna take my packing cubes and pack up all of my clothes minus my plane outfit. Glasses, very, very important for spring. Hair appliances because you're not gonna have the heat or humidity of summertime in the spring, so you can do wonderful hairstyles. And my travel size hair straightener slash curler, because you can kind of use a hair straightener to cool curl as well. Sunscreen, very important because if you are coming out of winter and are pale, like myself, uh, you're gonna want some sunscreen because the first time you see sun, you're gonna burn. A belt, um, this isn't necessary if you don't need a belt, but if you do need a belt, some fun jewelry or accessories, a laundry bag with some wash packets because if you're going for longer than a week, then you're gonna be doing laundry. So bring some laundry powder with you and a bag to put all of your dirty clothes into. Next, I have my toiletry bag. Now I've already done a video on this, so if you want to watch that, links down below in the description. I go through all my products that I put in my toiletry bag. I pack up a first aid kit, same as the toiletry bag. In the description, you will find links to see what everything that I put in there. And my makeup bag. So if you want to see what I put in there, let me know and I might do it for a future video. An umbrella. An umbrella is very, very important for spring time travel because there is a high possibility it might rain. So I like to carry a travel size one or one that can basically fit in my carry on in my personal purse or bag, my everyday bag that I take with me. And on the topic of rain, a rain jacket. Uh, this is also very, very important because again, you can't control the weather and it might rain on you. Now this isn't a very heavy jacket. It is a very, it's more of a outer shell because I don't want something that's too warm or else you're just gonna get really sweaty and gross underneath. But you do want something that will protect you from the rain and it is 100% waterproof. An evening purse or a day purse, essentially just a smaller bag that I can put uh, just my essentials in when I am going out to dinner or just don't really need a whole lot of stuff with me. I always have a hat with me when I travel because bad hair days happen or sometimes you can't shower or sometimes you're just out and about and it's super windy and you just want something to cover your head. <laughs> Hats are amazing for travel, I highly recommend, and uh, this one's a pretty fun spring one. Next, I'm gonna do my electronics and my carry-on bag because I always put my electronics in my carry-on bag. Now, this is actually a pared down version. This is not nearly as much electronics and camera gear as I typically bring, but for you guys and gals, if you aren't a travel vlogger, this is probably what you're going to need. If you do wanna see what I typically bring as a travel vlogger, all my camera gear, etc., links down below for another video all about that. A tablet or a laptop. Now this is kind of personal preference, depending on if you need to do a lot of work. Laptop or most people typically just bring a tablet and you'll probably be fine with that. Power cords for your laptop, external hard drives, plus the cords needed for that. One point and shoot camera in a protective casing. So I can take that with me like that. All the cords required for the camera, the cords required for my phone. My phone, <laughs> let's not forget that. A uh, power pack, so this is always great to have just a power pack. You've got um, adapters, so these are for different countries, you want different adapters. And headphones, and make sure you get noise cancelling headphones because noise cancelling headphones are amazing as a traveler and they're worth the investment. Uh, you can get them in a smaller size earbud format or you can get the big over the head earphones personal preference in regards to size and uh, comfort level, really. All those electronics will go into my backpack along with my umbrella, sunglasses, and jewelry. And last, but very most importantly, not least, wallet, passport, and other important documents. And now I'm gonna change into my travel clothes. My travel outfit is on, my bags are packed, and we are all ready to head out to our spring travel destination. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you have enjoyed it. Hopefully it has inspired you, and uh, I wanna know what your favorite spring travel destination is. Let me know down below in the comments, and uh, I'll see you guys again in a few days time with another video. Happy travels.